rest of the vehicle has to turn. At Lockheed Martin, the builders of the InSight spacecraft, employees and their families gathered for a Mars landing that's never automatic. The success rate for such endeavors over the years is just 40 percent. Landing on Mars is very hard. Um, we've done everything we can prepare the team, repair the spacecraft, um, but now we, we need a little bit of luck on our side as well. 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a complex but risky process where all kinds of things can go wrong. The spacecraft, out of touch with Earth, slowed from 21,000 kilometers per hour when it hit Mars's atmosphere to zero at the surface seven minutes later. It's the seven minutes of terror. A pair of small satellites tracked InSight all the way down to the planet. Touchdown confirmed. The feat was celebrated here in Colorado. Here we go. And a jet propulsion laboratory in California, which is in charge of a mission that began six months and nearly 500 million kilometers ago. The landing complete, attention now turns to the science this three-legged geologist will perform. This is a very different kind of Mars mission. The focus over the next two Earth years won't be on the surface of the planet so much as what lies deep inside. Using a robotic arm, InSight will deploy a high-tech seismometer built by the French Space Agency to listen for Martian earthquakes, as well as a self-hammering nail with heat sensors built by the German Space Agency that will dig five meters below the surface to gauge the planet's internal temperature, all to better understand a place that's been much less geologically active than Earth. On Mars, all those things that, that were formed in the first few tens of millions of years after formation are still frozen in place. And so we can basically use Mars as a time machine to go back and look at what the Earth must have looked like a few tens of millions of years after it formed. So we're trying to understand that connection. We're trying to understand a body that's smaller, a body that although was formed four and a half billion years ago along with Earth, it is formed differently. Information gathered during this mission could be useful when humans travel to the planet in the future. Yeah, Shortly really after the landing, InSight beamed back, back this photo. Um, it will take several side. months for the um, spacecraft to deploy its science instruments. Then, for those who've long wanted to dig deeply into Mars, the real fun begins. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Littleton, Colorado.